What's up YouTube, Zach back here for another video. Uh, today, I'm actually gonna be showing you the easy way of how to get rid of your driver's light and make it just a blinker light. So this whole thing, when your lights are on at night or whatever, it's all blinker. And when you turn your blinker on, this blinks and gets rid of your DRL light because I don't know if you guys have this problem, but on mine, it's gone out like three or four times and it only comes on when your lights are off during the day. So I'm gonna show you the easy way of how to do that. I'm gonna see if it works because there is another way that's a little more complicated. It's a little more involved, but I think I found a way, an easy way to do that. So I'm gonna go get the stuff, show you guys what you need, and then show you guys how to get this all working. All right, guys, so I got my old blinker light here. Uh, and so I pulled this out of the shed. What you're gonna need for this, to do it either way, really, the complicated way you need these two blinker light connectors. And what I did is I just got curious and just shoved this in there. And I mean, it's, it's in there. There's really no gaps in there. You got the seal nice and good on the, on the light. So I don't think it's going to have any problem with condensation or anything. And I mean, it's just a lot easier than the other way. Cause the other way you got to take these all apart and then you got to hack up your harness. And I'm just trying to find a way to not have to hack up the harness, make it easier. So all you have to do with this is just tap into the three wires on your actual blinker light and then you're good to go and just tuck your uh, drive light away. And then if you ever want to, you know, get rid of this or put your driver light back in, you just pop the thing back in. But I'm going to go out to the truck and see about wiring this in and I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so now you're gonna wanna go ahead and get this light out. So you pop your hood. You don't have to take your grill off or anything. I know some people say you gotta take the grill off, but if you just take the headlight out, Check it up out of the way. Let me grab it here. And then you look right down in here. You've got your clip right there. So you push on that clip and the back part will pop out and then it'll slide that way and the whole light thing will come out. So I'll put you back down and then I'll get to doing that. You want to be careful with that clip because it is a little, it's a little tender, especially if you got the factory lights still. They won't come out very easy. And then you'll just undo these clips. All three of the lights. So here's your wiring. Now this plug is a little screwed. So either way, I'll probably end up having to replace this, but I really don't want to start just hacking up this harness and leaving all this. So what I'm going to do with this one is just kind of tuck it back here, maybe tape it off, maybe tape around it. So nothing gets in there. But so what we're going to do with these, is just cut this tape back a little bit, this tape, and then just tap into these three wires to make it, 
come off. I think this one goes in like that. And then this one will be like that. Or however it needs to be. Probably like that. But it's still plenty of enough room. So I'm going to get to cutting these wires back. And uh, get to splicing. Sorry if I'm shaking. It's, uh, it's only like 35 degrees out here right now. So, But I'll get to that. And I'll show you guys. All right, so now I got all that loom stripped back as much as I need. I got my wire cutters. And I like these because you can just, instead of having to cut this whole thing off to get it in there, and without having to be weird and trying to do all that, you can just put it in the middle of the wire, and it'll strip it just enough to be able to tap into it. Now you can get those um, connector taps, but I don't feel like going to the store and buying them and with my luck I'd get the wrong size and have to buy two or three sets because that's that's happened to me before so there you go now that one's stripped now we can go ahead and do that with the rest of them and the truck's not on so it's not going to arc off anything so we can do that Oh, and there we go. Yeah, that's one of the things that I hate because these wires are old. So be careful of that. So we'll have to reconnect that, but that's not a big deal. Okay, two out of three ain't bad, but. So we'll get the new ones. And all you're gonna do with these, it's real, real simple. You'll just match up the wire. It'll be the same. The orientation on these are the same. So just this one, it out and then around now I will recommend soldering this but it's really really cold out here so I think I'm just gonna tape it but if I were you I'd solder just a just a quick tip because I was going to but I didn't realize it was gonna be 30 today so don't be like me don't just try to take shortcuts because that's when stuff gets messed up. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Make sure all your wires are not touching each other. And before I tape this up, I just want to see if they both work. All right, now none of the wires are going to arc off each other. They're all separated, but they're not taped off yet. So I'm going to run. I'm going to get into the truck. I'm going to hit the flashers and see if they work or if they don't. All right, well, the new one's working. This was the driver light. Maybe it doesn't work for a blinker. I'll go get a new bulb and I'll be right back and I'll try it out. There we go. And there we go. They're both working now. Let's see if they turn on with the headlights. And there we go. All right, so, uh, I mean, that's that's how you do it. I'm going to go ahead and put in the other side. I won't film that since I've already filmed this one. But I'm going to go put in the other side. I'm going to tape all this up. Make sure it's all nice and protected and good. I'm probably just going to throw a little bit of electrical tape around that one. Just because it's an open socket. And when you're driving, it'll... I mean, it's got current going to it. So I'll probably just tape off the entrance point to that. And then I'll put it all back together and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so real quick, I just want to kind of show you how I did this. Um, this, I just completely wrapped in electrical tape. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I don't think there's really going to be anything getting in there. And so I'm just going to maybe tuck this up in there. It'll probably fall, but it's out of the way. So there's that. This, I've got all, I've got all separate wires of electrical tape, and then I wrapped electrical tape around it. Try to keep moisture out of there. And then just bring the loom up as close as you can to it. So that's like that. And I'll put the light in. And then I still got to do that other side. But then after I do that other side, I'll show you guys what it looks like. 
All right, guys. So that's that's the finished product. It's all together. It all works. I've got my hazards on with my headlights just to make sure that they're, you know, they go on and then they dim out like they're supposed to. But I mean, that's it. That's really it, guys. There is another way to do this, but it's a lot more involved, uh, kind of harder, and you got to hack up your harness other than what I just did. You got to cut both of them off just to get to work then. And all that is is just so you can use the uh, DRL light plug. But, I mean, that's all there is to it. I wanted to try something. Uh, I'll let you guys know because uh, I do daily drive this truck. Uh, I'll let you guys know if I have any issues with uh, water getting in the light, anything like that. But, I mean, it's, it's screwed in. It's tight. The seal's tight. I think it'll work out. So... As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, thanks to everybody that's subscribing. I don't have many now, but it's getting up there. I really appreciate it to everybody. Um, next week, I will be putting out a video next weekend. And it will be putting fog lights in the truck. My, my truck does not have fog lights now. Because it's got the cutouts for them. I ordered them. They're in. I was gonna make my own harness, but we'll get into that next week. Don't forget, don't miss next week's video. Subscribe if you liked the video. Comment if you didn't, let me know if I should have showed more. If you want more, I can try to get in a little, a little more in depth. Thanks for watching and uh, until next time.